Want to feel like a lord of the wild or a bit of a druid? Then here's the simple trick. Grab a live ant and draw a circle around it with a pen. The ant will scuttle around inside that boundary for hours unable to cross it. What's just a line of ink to us is a real obstacle to them. An uncrossable frontier. It's like a tiny moat with crocodiles that mess with ant instincts. Insects such as ants leave a pheromone trail behind them. It's a bit like a breadcrumb trail, but made of pheromones that help ants navigate and find their way back home. It's an effective strategy, especially since ants don't see well. So when you use the pin to wipe out that scent trail, the ant gets disoriented and has no clue where it is or how it got there. And don't forget the crocodiles. I mean, it's not just an obstacle. The pin trail is covered in wet, slippery, foul-smelling ink. So the ant's doing its best to avoid stepping in it. I can't blame it, honestly. Depending on the type of ink, it can take a few minutes to a few hours for an insect to get out. Certain ants are so unlucky that they die in a circle from exhaustion, never finding any way out. It's not just ants, plenty of other insects fall for this trap too. While ants possess intricate organization, they're surprisingly susceptible to manipulation. You just need to place a substantial piece of food in the path of an ant. Unable to carry it alone, the ant will summon help leaving a trail of pheromones. Even if you remove the food, the pheromone trail remains fooling others into thinking there's a feast. Voila, you've ingeniously set. The ant up and the whole colony thinks it made it all up. But ants are child's play trolling creatures much tinier than you isn't much of a challenge. What if we're talking about something bigger like a lion? Turns out lions are just as manageable as ants when you wield a chair. Over a century ago, Clyde Batty, a lion tamer, discovered that a chair is a crucial tool for survival. While Batty realized this, his colleagues didn't and sadly died. Remarkably, Batty himself lived to 62, and it wasn't predators that killed him. It turns out that raising the chair to a level where its legs are oriented toward the lion effectively confuses the predator. The animal perceives the legs as distinct entities, preventing it from focusing on a singular target. The dilemma becomes so perplexing that the lion chooses to freeze and await change rather than launch an attack on a person. What impressed you the most in today's episode? Please comment below in the comment section to let us know, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Your likes and comments encourage me to continue. See you very soon with a new episode.